The blue star is the year 2088 of the new era. Our hero is walking down the street, looking at his phone, and then he sees a girl in a rabbit costume who stands in front of the phone. She says that you should not be lazy to work with pens and send her flowers, showing your activity. This is a live broadcast. Well, no one is being judged here. The girl really overdid the outfit in the opinion of the young man. The girl who was broadcasting was wearing a rabbit costume and it looked very embarrassing. In front of us, the main character who was just heading down the street is Lin Kiyu, 17 years old, a student type of awakening, turning into a beast, and the beast of awakening, a small white rabbit. The young man had rabbit ears on his head, real ones. The girl, conducting the broadcast, asked everyone not to be shy and show their activity. Our hero, standing in the background, was very shy, and then she thought about the werewolf rabbit, which was very weak and decided that she needed to play with it, so she asked her viewers if they thought she could handle him in a minute. Then they should have sent her their missiles. Immediately the viewers started sending their missiles to the chat. Everyone was interested to see this battle of the beasts because everyone thought that the guy was very lucky that he could fight with this girl. The broadcast was carried out on popular social networks, and everyone wrote a lot of comments while the girl asked them if they would help her with their activity. Everyone was very interested in the guy who was behind. Our main character also had rabbit ears and whether it was real or it was fake, all the viewers were very interested in this information. The girl, looking at the young man, said that this guy had the same ears as everyone else and starting to touch his ears. The young man was very embarrassed. Then the girl used her energy and fought with the guy, defeated our rabbit. She knocked down a little bunny, after which she earned 13 rockets, which were sent to her in the chat after seeing their battle. The young man, defeated by the girl, lying on the asphalt, thought that he had met such a nasty person like her on the way, and then he was hit by a car. A man got out of the car, saying that it was a terrible abomination and asked Lin Kyu to get out of the way. The girl in the broadcast asked her viewers to watch Brother Rabbit fly into the sky and then land directly on the car. The young man could not understand why he was so lucky. He grew up in a shelter. At the age of 15 he awakened the ability to transform into a beast, but his form is a rabbit. In a school full of supernatural beings, he was constantly bullied, because the law applies on the blue star, the strongest survives. In a forest with a huge number of ferocious animals, the rabbit can only wait to be torn apart. At that moment, the young man landed on the car and a man approached him, who saw that the young man had landed not only on the ground, but also earlier on his car, so he maliciously asked the young man to get up, otherwise he would pay. Our hero, lying on the ground, was unable to get up because he had just flown a decent distance. The person approaching him asked if he decided to pretend to be dead and using his power in the form of a discharge. He decided to teach the young man a lesson so that he knew how to touch his car and at that moment he attacked our hero, who was thinking about whether he would die in this way. He was very unhappy and if only he could become stronger, the young man thought to himself. Then the system felt the presence of a hero, someone who, after 35 million years, was finally found. It was a suitable host, which was not easy to find. At that moment, the young man's body was pierced by a million discharges, and he felt an unusual power in himself. Something changed in his body and condition, something unusual for him. Upon waking up, our hero did not understand where he was around him. There were screens on which it was written about x-ray vision, knitting, hacking skills, awakening space and other attributes that the young man could use. Here Robot9527, addressing our hero, said that he was ready for his services, calling the young man the master. The hero heard that it was a trunk and turning to the computer, he again asked him what kind of trunk, then the computer, not understanding what the young man was talking about, called him a trunk and his family, too, according to the computer, was a trunk, asking to be called simply 9527. Shining a light on the young man who did not understand what was happening here, he decided to ask 9527 how he got here and what happened to him. The computer explained to him that in the first 1000 years he had found a suitable host, so he used the power accumulated over 35 million years to save him. The young man, beaming with joy, realized that he was not dead and began to press the buttons that were in front of him, learning what kind of skill, seeing that it was even higher than the guys at 13 levels and could choose any of these abilities to be presented in front of him. Then the computer said that the young man would do fine. He could awaken a skill from the hero every day, but this skill fell out randomly. And one random skill fell to our hero now, who did not understand what it meant. The computer explained that it was all about the host because he just resurrected it. He didn't have enough energy, so he had to act differently. The hero, pressing on the screen, said that he would not stay here and asked the computer if he would really return to the present time if he resurrected before or if it would be another time. The computer reported that this would be the place of his death. Then I remember my death, and the young man decided to ask if he could get some unnecessary skill and then he would die again. Then the computer replied that there was nothing it could do to help here and asked if the young man wanted to awaken his skill right now he needed to decide on this action. 
remembering his miserable life and death. The hero didn't care, he had a chance to come back to life, so he had to take a chance and press the confirm button on the computer screen. The skill lottery was activated and the young man was congratulated on acquiring a skill with the rank of ability enhancement. Our hero returned to his time again. When he was attacked by a young man with a discharge and coughed, he made it clear that he was still alive, which greatly surprised the man who attacked him. Thanks to a new skill to enhance the attack and jumping abilities, our hero was able to jump away from the scene. The girl who had previously broadcast was watching all this. With incredible speed, the young man jumped away from the place where he was attacked and landed on the car in such a way that he could even smash it, which greatly irritated the man who had previously attacked him with it. After all, in his opinion, the young man treated his car terribly, and he decided to kill him. The hero, attacking the enemy, said that he did not plan to die and a fight broke out between them. Then the girl who was watching all this decided not to move, because otherwise she could get hurt. The rabbit fist skill was activated, arm strength and attack speed were increased, and our hero, holding the girl who fainted, covered her with his robe, because her clothes were torn from the force of their collision. She did not understand what was happening. Her head was spinning and then the young man decided to cover her with his clothes otherwise. She confused the townspeople. Then, taking her phone, the young man looked at what was in it. Holding the phone in his hand, he heard that someone asked him to take his dirty hands off the girl. But the young man, entering her broadcast, said that he would not repeat it twice, so he stopped listening to everyone carefully. He is Daddy Rabbit here. Someone said that he did not like the young man and asked to let the girl go. Someone said that he wanted to become his hands because he held the beauty in his hands, and someone just liked him. The whole broadcast discussed our hero. The next day, the girls were discussing the news and one asked if her friends had read yesterday's news. And then someone decided to clarify whether the girl was talking about the accident or about that guy with rabbit ears who suddenly appeared in the middle of an online broadcast and it seemed that he studied with them in the class of their classmate with red ears. Then the girl asked if they were really talking to Lin Q, because looking at the photo it should have been him at that moment the guy entered the audience. All the girls surrounded him and asked if he was a bunny and really... He looked very irresistible today and was very cute, one of them said. The other said that she watched the broadcast too and they all surrounded the young man, wanting to get his attention. The hero was very surprised that they thought the bunny was irresistible. The next moment, the guys who had previously treated the young man badly admitted that they were wrong, promising that they would no longer do this and behave incorrectly with him. Then the guy realized that they were talking about yesterday's situation. And then he realized that now the guys looked at him as a role model and said that the huge strength in such a small body was a real man of this century, and everything was thanks to the skills that the system gave him. Then, returning to the system, the young man remembered that he had not yet received today's skill and decided to fix it by contacting 9527. The system replied that she was already here and automatically started the lottery. The skill lottery was activated and the young man was congratulated on acquiring the skill seeding the world. This skill was rank E, the system showed. At that moment, the young man imagined how all the girls were delighted with him. He was wondering what kind of seating skill it was. Here, by clicking on the screen, the young man thought that he would be able to get a lot of pleasure imagining how all the other guys would be unhappy and pressing the screen again. He did not understand why it did not work. Then the computer informed him that the skill had been successfully activated, and pressing it again was completely useless. The young man did not understand what was wrong, because he had received the skill, but he did not feel anything. The skill means that the young man has gained knowledge about all the seeds in the world. The plants that will be planted by him will definitely take root and germinate, the computer told him. The young man thought of something completely different and therefore was upset when he heard it from the computer. The hero did not understand what kind of nonsense it was. Wouldn't it be better to call it a seed sowing skill? The computer should have given it a name that should not have given false hopes. Informed the young man at this moment all the girls began to shy away from him, and the guys stared and began to call the white rabbit. One of them saw that the young man was popular among the girls, and if he was not mistaken, then after studying our hero worked as a deliverman and asked if he wanted him to give him a job, because if the young man was lucky, he would row the dough in huge tons. It was Lai Nan who awakened the wind, bronze, four stars. Lin Q suggested that Lai Nan discuss his proposal later, but the young man thought to himself that this guy usually annoyed him, so why did he become kinder today? Then Lai Nan said that 1X Club was recruiting employees and the young man was sure that the hero would be welcomed with open arms. The young man did not understand to himself whether the guy was really serious, and then he said that it seemed that Lai Nan had no problems with money. 
He said that of course it was, but then he suddenly realized that the young man was playing a joke on him and admitted that in fact, he had not been to the place he had mentioned earlier. Our hero realized that his joke was a success and said that there was nothing wrong with it. The young man, getting angry, told Lin Q that he really wasn't serious and asked the hero not to talk nonsense. Then the teacher came up and asked if the guys would like to be punished for a skirmish on the territory of the educational institution, asking both and asked everyone to sit down because he had two important announcements for the students. The boys obediently sat down and decided to listen to what the teacher would tell them. The teacher said that there would be a test next week and he hoped that everyone would try and get good scores. In addition, students who have awakened their abilities will additionally take a special exam. The top management will also be present. The best will have the opportunity to enter Lingwu University. It was a university of the highest valor. When our hero heard about this university, he was very excited and thought that maybe he had a chance to enter this prestigious university given the power he now possesses and also that he had an assistant system. After the reappearance of Aura, Blue Star established Lingwu University. This university specializes in educating qualified winners. Due to the limited educational resources, the main way to evaluate the abilities of students is a special exam. Our hero, sitting down, thought that he had not only received a bad skill of turning into a rabbit, but also a mediocre qualification of two bronze stars. But now he had a chance remembers 9527 this was his chance. Raising his hand and asking the teacher to pay attention to himself, the teacher saw that Lin Q also wanted to take this exam, but told the young man not to even try to take it. The young man's qualifications were too low, and he only had two bronze stars. He would only disgrace their school if he took this exam. The hero was upset that the teachers immediately told him that the young man was not suitable and was very surprised by this. Our hero was stubborn and told the teacher that he wanted to participate in this exam anyway. Then the teacher said that the young man had mediocre abilities. They would laugh at him that way. In order to protect the honor of the school, it was necessary to choose someone else. The young man looked at the teacher and thought that he looked at people like him from a high place. So he decided to watch the teacher speak when the young man awakens 13 skills. Then the teacher said that if the young man could enter the top 10 in the upcoming test, then he would give him a chance. The hero was inspired by the fact that he decided to give him a chance to get into the top 10 and agreed to his terms. Then let the results resolve their dispute, said teacher Lin Q. The young man realized that he had to fight no matter what, he had to go to this university. School gate number 18. The young man diligently ran, thinking that in addition to testing, he needed to think about money for tuition. His salary was not enough. He had little savings at that moment. The young man was doused by a car that drove through a puddle nearby and a girl got out of it. Looking at the young man, she asked if he was the little rabbit. When the hero saw the girl, he thought that she was like an angel and her appearance was charming. It was the goddess Kin Zhen Zhen. All the young man could say as he stared at the girl was that she was beautiful. But then he thought to himself that it was only that the girl had called him a rabbit and did not understand why the girls liked to call him that way. After all, he was a very serious guy and he could not be called that. It was very embarrassing for the young man because the girl was still that beauty and the soul the guy was just killed. But after making a serious look, he cleared his throat and asked to be allowed to introduce himself. And he introduced himself as Ling Q. But the girl could call him something else, for example handsome, and show her his contact. He offered the girl not to be shy and take his number, trying to look charming so that the girl, looking at him, would not refuse. A friend who was standing next to her and realized that after looking at Rabbit's brother, she thought that he was still that prankster and remembered that the young man was the presenter on the broadcast and she came to return his jacket specifically. Taking the jacket from the girl, the young man realized that she also studied here. Then on the street he thought something completely different and coming close to the young man. The girl put her finger to her lips so that he would not say anything more, because it was just a small hobby and asked him to keep everything a secret. The young man did not understand why she needed to hide, because thanks to her hobby she became so popular. Immediately, Kin Zhen Zhen said that it was the guy Ming Ming was talking about, distracting the young man and the girl from their conversation. It was Kin Zhen Zhen Ice Awakening. One silver star, the number one high school fairy, ranked the highest in the student rankings. Ming Ming, responding to Zhen Zhen, said that this young man easily dealt with a guy who had two bronze stars. Then Zhen Zhen realized that his opponent had only two stars. But Ming Ming was sure that the young man could handle anyone, because for sure his level was above two stars. At this moment, our hero, rubbing his fists, addressing the girls, asked if they wanted to, then he could demonstrate something to them. Well, the girl said that she returned his clothes. So they left, then our hero realized that he had not been able to take her contact so far. He also asked if the girls really left so quickly, because they could have gone somewhere together and chat. Jen Jen asked if the young man was sure about this. The hero, of course, stammered that he wanted this and whether there was a problem. 
to herself. Chen Zhen wondered if two stars would have the courage to challenge her in telling herself. Ken Zhen Zhen never refused challenges and invited the young man to do it. Even though there was a big difference in strengths between them, she invited him to fight. The winner will be determined next week. The young man agreed to say that he would just listen to the goddess, but then realized that this was not the best way to address the girl. Jumping away from the young man, Chen Zhen asked who allowed him to call her that. Holding out his hand, the young man did not understand what the problem was. Then maybe the girl could be called Sister Ken. Asking what the reward would be in their competitions, it was very interesting to Lin Qi. When leaving Zhen Zhen, he said that if she lost, she would take back her words, and the young man would be able to make any wish, because the girl was sure to herself that in any case, the young man could not win. When the hero heard that he had any wish, he was very inspired, because he could make up his mind whatever he wanted. While the young man was dreaming of Zhen Zhen, who was already walking away, Ming Ming, turning to her brother, asked him to take his jacket and advised him to abandon this idea, because Zhen Zhen was very strong. At that moment the girl called Ming Ming, asking if she was coming. She hesitated because she did not have time to tell the young man everything she wanted, but she had to go already. Our hero, thanking the girls for everything and Min Min for advice, said that he would not back down and saying goodbye, they left. Our hero was sitting on his scooter looking at his phone, because someone wrote to him. Mailagan, order details. The message sounded like this. The young man wrote that he was about to be beaten and he asked for help, saying that he needed to be saved fast because he was at the entrance to the Phoenix Cafe. Any amount would have been called by the young man and asked to bring more people, sending in saw signal. The young man had the option to accept this order by clicking yes or no, but seeing that the amount was any, our hero agreed. Climbing on his scooter and rushing off, he flew to his money chest. Internet Cafe Phoenix, and next to it in the alley, someone asked if a person was tired of living and he asked not to be touched, because he had already given a lot of money to robbers and asked how much more they needed. The young man cried, huddled in a corner and holding onto his the back. It was Shang San, the awakened hiller, nine bronze stars. Then the hooligans picked up the young man and he asked them to let him go, but they needed money, but they still wouldn't let him go, even if he gave them all the money. And they asked if the guy really thought that everything could be solved with money, saying that they would not allow him to escape and would deal with him. Holding the guy by the breasts, they tried to scare him, but then suddenly they were asked what they were doing, it was our hero. Ling Qiu, a rabbit, stood with a bat behind the hooligans and asked why the guys suddenly decided that they could bully others without incurring any punishment for it. Then the boys asked the rabbit if he was really looking for death once he came to them and tried to stop what they were doing. But our hero was not afraid of this and asked if the guys had any ideas about this, saying that the rabbit would not be lucky if they tried to fight him. Then the young man snapped his fingers and a lot of guys appeared behind Lin Qiu, who asked him who needed to be beaten here because there were only two hooligans in front of the rabbit. Any guy who decides to stand out in the territory of this gang will pay for it, the guy said. Then, running away, the hooligans asked who this rabbit guy was and where he called so many people from. The young man shouted after the guys to run faster. Jang Sen looked at the rabbit and was extremely glad that he was saved, asking if it was really possible to find thugs in the delivery. And emboldened, the guy shouted after them that if he saw them again, then his brother would provide them with a very good life. Our rabbit replied that he was not the young man's brother, very surprised that he said that. The guy turned to the rabbit with tears in his eyes, saying that the young man had saved him and now they were connected forever, because from that moment he became his older brother. Then Lin Q asked the young man to stop, saying that he didn't need any brother and he just preferred cash. The guy said that money is not a problem and he will do whatever the young man wants. The guy introduced himself as Shang San, who was a number one high school student, and since then he told the young man that he would do whatever he asked him to do, giving him his bank account where 30,000 was written. This amount surprised our hero very much. He did not expect such a big reward. And thinking about what worked, even giving away 170 people who came with him, he would have a whole lot of money left. The guy thought and realized that with this money he would be able to pay for his studies. Then the rabbit decided to ask what exactly these hooligans wanted from the young man. Lin Q thought to himself that this rich kid had been sent to him by heaven no other way. The young man explained that he did not do anything like that but only played for a female character in order to combine the unions of marriage in one game. And his guys asked him to say something in a voice. He tried to say by changing his voice. But then it turned out that these guys asked him to say something in a female voice I was sitting right in front of him. So it turned out to be a very uncomfortable situation and the young man got caught because of it. After hearing this story, the rabbit thought that the young man really got into a very awkward situation. This surprised the rabbit's brother very much. Climbing on a scooter, he said that it was time for him to return to work. Zhang also offered him a lift in his Rolls Royce. The hero refused to think to himself that this young man was not of this world. 
about himself. The young man remembered today and thought that luck was in full swing today and everything was thanks to a meeting with a beautiful woman whom he met in the afternoon and decided that he would return home early. Because he did not want to screw up right in front of his goddess and sat on a scooter, the young man drove towards home. It was the beginning of the lesson. The day before, Lin Kyu had been training hard, thinking about how he wanted to sleep, because he had been training all night. His body felt empty, but on this day the teacher had to tell about the key points of the exam. So the young man was preparing with all his diligence, drinking liters of coffee. He thought about how what he needed was to cheer up and ask 9527 that he wanted a new skill. The system also said that she was asleep and did not understand why the young man could not sleep all this time. He pulled her day and night, then the young man did not understand how the computer could sleep so much. The system congratulated him on getting the photographic memory skill. This skill allowed the host to remember everything he saw, as well as to get from the depths of memory everything he had studied early, which makes this skill indispensable for the final exam. After hearing about this skill, the young man really wanted to try it as soon as possible. After using this skill, the hero sat on the subject thinking about how much fun it was, because he knew everything that surprised the teacher very much when he saw Lin Q laughing. The young man, looking at the book, thought that it was all very easy. It felt as if all the letters, signs and numbers he had entered had once been imprinted on his memory. Now it was all easier for him. Looking at the book, the young man thought that having this skill made him look more like a god or made him more invincible. The teacher thought that Lin Kyu was arrogant and hitting the desk. Calling the guy, the young man jumped up, saying that he was here. The young man did not understand what the teacher wanted from him and why he was angry. He showed him a textbook and asked why the hero was reading a physics textbook for Chinese lessons, and at the same time he was laughing. The young man replied that he just remembered a joyful moment. Then, when he heard about it, the teacher did not understand what joy his grades could be talking about. Did the guy forget that he would not be allowed to take a special exam if he did not get into the top 10? The young man with a stony face informed the teacher that he had forgotten the truth because he got bored in class, which made the teachers very angry and he could not believe his ears how the young man could get bored because this year they wrote a bunch of tests and each time his scores barely crossed the threshold. Then the young man asked him not to remember the past because mechanical memorization was really not his strong point. Holding a book in his hands, the young man told the teacher that he could bet with him that he knew this book by heart, which greatly surprised the teacher. Looking at the young man, the teacher asked if Lin Kyu still did not understand what the teacher thought of him. He should have refused the competition so as not to disgrace the school, stop talking nonsense and come to his senses. After that, the teacher decided to start asking the young man, starting with a simple one, what the phoenix was supposed to do. The hero was not surprised that the question was too simple and replied that the phoenix had to embrace the moon and honor the Eternals forever. After his answer, the young man shocked not only the teacher, but everyone around them. Everyone crowded around them, waiting for the next round. The teacher thought that the young man was just lucky and therefore decided to ask the following question. Kin this. And then the hero replied that he did not have time to mourn. To mourn his ancestors from all the ancient texts that they studied. Only this sentence began with the hieroglyph kin. The teacher could not understand how this was possible. How the young man reproduced the second part of the sentence exactly, checking this point in the textbook. All the guys were also surprised and looked at the young man. Lin Qi replied that it was quite logical, but then the teacher said that it was completely illogical. Did the young man still think that he could take part in the exam with his knowledge? Then the hero replied that they had studied this text last semester and the teacher asked them to learn this passage by heart. All the students were shocked because no one remembered what happened last semester with the teacher. As he left, the young man, addressing his comrades, said that they would see each other at the exam, and at that moment the teacher fainted. And so the student picked up, asking about what happened to the teacher. A group of students and parents crowded around the table with scores and grades. One of the boys heard that one of the top three studied at their school. The woman on the phone said that it was impossible. Had someone kidnapped Chen Zhen, and someone forced her to become their student. Who was interested? Who was in first place? Was it really Lai Nan? The man behind the girl said that this could not be, because he was the weakest awakened in this school. Then, looking at the scoreboard, someone saw that it was Lin Qiu, who took first place. The young man, rubbing his earphone, said that the world was not a constant thing, sometimes a small fish gave a big head start. The hero thought to himself that with the help of photographic memory, he passed the exam with ease, walking away from the score table. The hero felt very good, because it was time to show the enemy what kind of dough he was made of. The young man in the background was furious, because there was some kind of mistake and it was impossible. Then Lai Nan was asked to calm down, because he reacted too violently to the situation. Ten days later, the competition arena. The presenter announced that the talent contest was about to begin and whether all the guys were ready, people were cheering and applauding in these stands. All the stands were occupied. 
Then the presenter asked to greet the delegate of the 30th district, the one that includes hundreds of the best students in the country. The student who took 18th place in the overall ranking, the one who went to the top three at the previous stage. At that moment, a blue-haired girl came out with a very serious look and smashed something next to her. The men passing by did not understand what was wrong with her, because something must have happened then another young man informed the man that this girl had never occupied a place below one before, and today she dropped to two. When our hero saw the girl, he greeted the goddess, calling her by name, Zhen Zhen and asked her to come here, but the girl did not want to be near the young man, and he did not understand what was happening and then, dissatisfied, she said that Lin Qiu had won and asked what he wanted. The young man, rubbing his head, talked about how it seemed to him that he had hurt Miss Kin's pride in saying that the bet was a joke, and that she would not take everything to heart or invite him to dinner. Then the blushing girl began to stammer and said that she would like to say that she was very sorry and apologized to the hero for calling him a weakling. Seeing Zhen Zhen apologizing, the young man was overjoyed, because she looked very cute and was more beautiful than ever. Then the presenter came up to them, asking what he saw here, it was first and second place, but what did the guys do together? Then a blushing Zhen reported that everything was wrong and they were not together, but that 1000 viewers were watching right on the screen. The presenter reported that he heard that their awakened form was a white rabbit. Was it so? I turned to Lin Qiu, he said, because it was quite brave of him to take part in such a test. But our hero was very proud of himself and said that he had come for the first place. In the stands, the guys laughed at the young man, saying that the little rabbit swung at victory and that it was insanely funny considering the young man stupid. Someone also said that he did not think that if the young man coped with the exams, then he would also be lucky in the ring and asked him to stay away from their goddess. At that moment, the presenter realized that there was one place in front of him and the young man grabbed the microphone saying that he had nothing to say to them all, except that he was number one and therefore asked to pray for his favorites, because he hoped that today they would fall for him, showing all the stands his middle finger and smiling. Everyone was shocked by this statement, along with the presenter, who was standing next to the young man. The hero looked at everyone smiling, saying that he was the number one then the presenter, taking away his microphone, asked him not to chat anymore, saying that it was necessary to start the performance. People from the stands shouted that the guy was a pathetic animal and if he had the courage, then let him go down to the podium and fight with them, saying that they did not advise him to get in the ring for the young man. These were all empty words and he just plugged his ears enjoying this atmosphere. The presenter asked for silence and announced the rules of today's competition. These were simple rules. The battle was one-on-one, -on -one, the winner moves forward, the loser is eliminated. A total of 257 students will take part in the competition. They will send the numbers to the participants' mobile phones, the presenter said. After that, everyone started receiving mobile phone numbers and everyone began checking the information that had been sent to them. The numbers appeared on the scoreboard. And the presenters announced, since the number of participants was odd, one of them was randomly selected to skip the round. The participants in each round will be removed randomly. Everyone began to pray that the Lord God would help them keep their strength and hold out until the very end while our hero just yawned on the sidelines. Here the player with the number 66, and it turned out to be our hero, said that the young man could have missed the round. No one believed that a rabbit could have been so lucky. Everyone began to wonder why it wasn't them. But the game was about to start, so the participants were asked to prepare for the ring. The hero thought that they were lucky, but the game is a game, so he decided to watch who would fight whom, and Zhen Zhen already participated in the first battle. And having won, the girl froze her opponent, to which the young man was injured and dropped out of the game. The winner was announced and it was a high school student Kin Zhen Zhen. Among the participants, many expected that she would win because the girl was a real star. Lin Zhu was delighted looking at her. Because she really was a silver level ice awakener, a real goddess, it was just incredible and then the hero began to read the book. He was thinking that he couldn't lose, so he needed to quickly learn more techniques from the book to become a player worthy of his Zhen Zhen. Ten minutes later, there was a fierce battle between two opponents and our hero, watching this, thought that all these uninteresting techniques drove him just into a dream. So he turned to 9527 asking him to get out to chat with him. Sleepy, looking at the screens in front of him, our hero was trying to choose which skill to use today. Then, turning to 9527, the young man said that he had noticed that recently the system had become lazy and stopped chatting with him, then the system said that it was not lazy, and the choice was completed, and the system congratulated the host on receiving the SS rank of strengthening the whole body. When he saw the S rank mark, the young man thought that he had finally found what he wanted so much, because the system had been giving him all sorts of garbage in the last few days, according to the young man. He thought the problem was in the system itself, but he was wrong. Happy despite the screen, 
He saw that the system advised the host to watch his words and thoughts. Otherwise he would not wait for any bad and useful skills next time and asked if he could activate the skill right now. The young man, of course, pressed the yes button because he could no longer wait and here on the hero all the clothes were torn and the reinforcement was successfully completed. The clothes on the young man's body tore and he formed strong dense muscles. He couldn't even believe that the amplification was so powerful and now he looked like a real man, except that his pants and all his clothes were torn so that everyone was a little confused by his appearance. The young man thought that everyone was confused by the fact that he was so handsome, but it turned out that it wasn't like that at all. The girl pointed at his pants and asked what it was. The guy was wearing underpants with chickens. Then Lin Qi realized how shameful this moment was and started shouting at the entire arena. Then the second round was announced, which came to an end and 101 participants remained and they were all ready to move on. So who was the next lucky guy to fight? The host asked and the scoreboard showed the number 66 and it was Link. The young man was sitting on a bench with his new trousers picked up, and next to him sat a girl who was embarrassed by his appearance. It was day 2 and Luck smiled on number 66 again. On day 3 the presenter was already tired of saying this, but number 66 was in the top 35 people were already beginning to doubt that the young man was really so lucky. Then the presenter wanted to ask participant Lin Q to say a few words to them. Taking off his diary, which fell on his face, the guy said that he himself did not want everything to happen like that and he was very bored and he really wanted to warm up. While the young man was saying this, all the other players were looking at him, who were beaten and all in abrasions, saying that the guy was lucky and it was hard to believe that the young man also missed this last round. Everyone wanted the young man to meet them in the ring, because then they could actually deal with him. They fought so desperately in the ring for their victory, and our hero was just lucky all the time. Then Ling Kai said that they had already gone through several rounds, and this guy was still sitting on the bench. Was it really fair? Addressing our hero through the microphone, taking it away from the presenter. Lin Q disagreed with this and he demanded fair treatment for all those involved. The hosts announced that it was incredible because participant Lai Nan withdrew from the competition Lin Q, number 66, would take part in the next stage. The other players thought that the guy's luck had finally run out. The young man thought that he would finally be able to play because it was the right time to check his level after the last performance improvement, and the board chose an opponent for our hero. Everyone wanted to see who would become his first opponent, and it was Lei Diane at number 88. Everyone asked to teach this pompous turkey a lesson. Someone shouted that it was Lei Diane and it was incredible that such an opponent was caught in the first fight. Lei Diane was a thunder awakener. Eight bronze stars. When the young man saw his opponent, he did not believe it, because he saw his opponent was very serious. The hero, rubbing his head, asked so much not to be aggressive on his side. And the first game was about to begin. Then Lei Dan asked Lin Q if his name was correct, saying that his lucky streak had ended on him. Now the young man was extremely unlucky to become his opponent. Lei Dan said that he did not like to brag before the game, but told the young man that he would smear him on the ground. Our hero didn't care about it at all. Then Lei Dan said that he had changed his mind. He would torture the young man slowly, and after the fight he would not be able to recover for a long time. Well, our hero answered this very calmly while the young man electrified the lightning on his hands. Having attacked our hero with these lightning bolts, Lei Dan said that they had nothing more to add and wished the young man death. Lin Q calmly dodged his lightning and the lightning mist, hitting the arena. Lin Q noticed that the cooldown time was too long and for sure all of Lei Dan's opponents were safe. Lin Q asked if this was the case, because he thought that his opponent would not be able to defeat them with this technique. Then Lei Dan wondered how such a thing was possible and how the young man was able to return from his attack, and he used the thunder technique to attack our hero again. But the young man used his technique that the thunder could not hit him and, angry, Lei Dan told the young man that he would not be able to evade the answer so easily and again using lightning. He decided to attack our hero. The young man reasoned that the damage was too high, much more than the previous attack in the past. He had received such lightning bolts a couple of times, but if he was hurt by this, the consequences would be catastrophic. And in this case, the young man, starting to attack, thought that it was necessary to quickly get rid of his opponent faster so that he would not have time to strike him and find himself near Lei Dan, who did not expect that the young man would move so fast and that he had such a simple awakening. But the strength did not match the hero. Lei Dan thought about how he had to withstand such an attack. After attacking Lei Dan, he thought that he would not tolerate this, but it was too late, the young man flew headfirst into the asphalt. The host announced that it was incredible. The number 66 among the opponents won with just one blow and announcing the winner. The host raised his hand to Lin Qiu, who became the winner of this fight. The young man was surprised. Did his strength really increase so much after strengthening the characteristics? The crowd cheered because they couldn't believe that the young man was so strong, because he defeated the opponent with just one punch and everyone was rooting for Lin Qiu. Two men were discussing the situation. 
One was named Jian Wen, who was the vice president of the Martial Arts University and asked Lu Zhen, who was also the vice president of the Martial Arts University, how pleased he was because he allowed Lin Qiu to participate in the competition. Lu Zhen said that it was nothing. Was the vice president so confident in this young man? Our hero stood after his victory, next to the opponent who awakened the physical strength of the beast and had eight bronze coins. At that time, the vice president said that he had closely followed the young man's round and he had not used spiritual force, to which the other vice president told him that it was impossible. The force invested in this blow was too great. The young man really did not use spiritual power. His physical strength must have been incredible, and both vice presidents were thinking about what a curious newcomer was in front of them. Day 2 Number 66 Lin Qiu had to fight against Number 12 Shang Gui and the match began. The host announced, the young men were standing next to each other and needed to fight about now. Shen Gui, who awakened the physical strength of the beast and had eight bronze stars, as well as the bestial form of a wolf, stood and looked at our hero. His strength and power were felt even from a distance. Lin Qiu, looking at the young man, thought about what a creepy aura it was and maybe it was worth improving the characteristics a little more to defeat him. Here our hero used his power of fire, but the enemy had the power of lightning. But as soon as Lin Qiu showed his powerful fire energy, Shen Gui said that he was giving up and knelt in front of the young man, saying that Lin Qiu had won. The next match, and just as it began, the opponent surrendered to Lin Qiu again. The hero was very surprised, because he had not done anything yet, but then Lin Qiu was again declared the winner. The next match was the same because the young man who was the opponent said that he was giving up too, asking for Lin Qiu's autograph. The hero was already standing with a sign saying why it was so difficult to find an opponent. Because every time the hosts announced that he had won, and when many matches had already been completed, the presenter congratulated the person that the young man had entered the top eight. There were several other guys behind him and the young man could not believe that he was in the top eight. The host was announcing this to the entire stadium. The hero was resting next to a sign that had previously written why it was so difficult to find an opponent, which was crossed out and written, invincible. Thinking to himself, the hero lay on the ground, repeating the phrase from the sign in front of him that he was invincible and the young man found it very boring. He thought he was going to have fun, but it was all a waste of his time. Here, a computer appeared in front of the young man and asked him to stop, addressing the host computer, asking him to be quieter. The young man wondered why 9527 had appeared in front of him, but it was just in time, he hadn't chosen a skill yet today. Artificial insertion of any weapon, be it a spear, a rifle, a bow or something else, increased accuracy. The computer congratulated the host on getting a new skill, marksmanship of the B rank, thinking that he had gained accuracy. The young man did not understand who would need a spear or a bow in the world of modern technology. Reasoning as if to himself, he did not notice how Zhen Zhen approached him and addressing Lin Qi. The girl stood next to him and looked confusedly at the young man who was lying on the ground in front of her and did not suspect that she had approached him. Sitting on the ground, the young man asked Zhen Zhen if she had come to see him, but the girl came to tell him something. Looking at the goddess from this angle from which he was sitting, he liked her even more. Sitting on the ground, the young man asked the girl to speak because he would be glad to hear a couple of words from her mouth. At that time, Zhen said that she was going to assemble a team to explore the bronze spirit market during the summer holidays and she wanted to know if Lin Qiu was interested in it. After hearing about the bronze spirit market, the young man decided to ask again what it meant. After the rebirth of spiritual energy, countless spiritual markets were naturally revived, which is filled with all kinds of spiritual beasts and rare treasures. These beasts are valued not only for their skins, but not for being able to produce special spiritual spheres that are useful for cultivation. It was for this reason that the girl decided to invite our rabbit asking what he thought about it. After hearing about the rare treasures, and even in the company of Zhen, the guy was extremely happy, wasn't it like the dream date he was thinking about? And he also imagined how the girl was afraid, relying on him, and he felt too courageous, these were his dreams and fantasies. But then she destroyed them by saying that besides the young man, there would be six more people, so they could not worry about safety. The guy was upset, his plans to be alone with her were crying, he thought. The young man, addressing Zhen Zhen, said that he accepted the invitation, but who were the other guys whom she invited and the girl stood up and said that she would contact him, later without answering his question. So on, the hero asked if she was already leaving, because they could go to a cafe and chat. But turning around, Zhen asked the young man to prepare for the game so that he would not be ashamed when they collided in the ring. The last day of the competition. The host shouted that everyone had finally waited for the finale and asked the audience to get ready because they were starting a battle. Everyone was jubilant and asked the goddess to deal with the rabbit. Someone wanted Lin Qiu to win, and everyone just wanted to watch a good fight, inspired by what they were about to see. Lin Qiu stood in front of Zhen Zhen, 
and the host announced that they were opponents and could prepare mentally for this fight. The guys just looked at each other, knowing that they were going to have a difficult battle with each other. Our hero was ready for this, and the girl was also determined to win. Standing in front of each other, Shen informed Lin Q that this time she would not let the first place slip out of her hands so easily. She thought to herself that even though Lin Q was now part of her team, she would not give everything the first place. The young man, calming the girl, said that it did not matter who would be in the first place, because she had already improved in the exams and why she cared so much, he could not understand. The hero also thought that if it wasn't for the gesture he showed during the interview, he would have gladly given up himself. But then the hero, looking at the girl, advised her to admit defeat because he would not be gentle with her. The guy was smiling at the girl. The presenter reported that it seemed to him that the players were ready and therefore it was possible to start the game. Everyone immediately took their stands and were ready to attack. The girl informed the young man that her level was not only higher than his, but several years ago she received a black belt in taekwondo, so in terms of physical fitness she was in no way inferior to the young man. Concentrating energy on his fist, the guy asked her to be careful in this case and attacking her, he missed, and she attacked him from behind and attacked from behind. The young man realized that the goddess was really worthy of being called that, because her blow was what it needed, if not for the strengthening of the body, which improved his physical shape, he would definitely not have suffered it. But the fight had just begun and therefore our hero again moved to attack the girl in front of him. The young man went on the attack and tried to attack JJ, but she reflected his every blow saying that he was moving too slowly. She attacked him again from behind, hitting the young man directly in the shoulder, which hurt him very much. He did not expect this and even broke the floor under him. The girl, standing over him and looking at how the young man was amazed, asked him to surrender, even though his physical form was good, but his skills left much to be desired. Showing the ice crystals in her hand, she talked about how she didn't even have time to use her special skill. Standing up and holding onto the shoulder where the girl attacked, the young man thought that Jay was right, if this continues, he will not be able to win, but then he found a way out. The young man asked to stop the fight, which surprised not only Zhen Zhen, but also the host. The presenter himself did not understand whether it was possible to do so, whether it was possible to stop this fight. And meanwhile the young man jumped off the stage and wanted to take a mop that stood next to the ring, asking the presenter if he could use it. Looking at the young man, the presenter said that he had never met such impudence like him all the time. But Shen Zhen said that everything was fine and let the young man use it to himself, thinking about what was wrong with this guy and what he thought of himself. After all, he even he shouldn't have blamed her for her cruelty. Picking up a mop, our hero smiled and Jen asked if they could continue their battle. The young man said that everything was fine. They could continue, showing her the mop that he was holding in his hands, asking her to see his new weapon. It was a deadly mop that fits perfectly in his hand. Our hero, standing with a mop and asked Jen Jen to look here and not cry when she loses. Using his powerful energy, he stood and looked directly at the girl, and she thought that something was wrong. He seemed transformed after picking up this mop like a general having picked up the perfect weapon. Looking at the young man, she thought to herself of Jinseng. The young man really changed. He stood in a confident pose and holding a mop in his hands was ready for any attack, and asking to attack first. Let him attack first, he rushed towards Jen with an incredibly fast speed. Holding his weapon in his hand, he asked the girl to look directly at him, because he was attacking with his mop. The girl dodged his blows, but then using the body control skill and her own energy, the hero attacked her right in the fifth point, which surprised the girl very much. She thought about why he suddenly became so accurate and what happened looking back and involuntarily embarrassed. She thought, talking about the scoundrel that she would kill him for attacking her in such a way. The hero was happy that he did it at first, but then scratching his head apologized to the girl because it was just muscle memory and he didn't want to attack her that way. He just couldn't stop. Justifying himself, he looked at the floor because he couldn't look up at the girl. Enraged, Jen Jen, using the basic skill of ice, icicles, asked him to shut up and decided to attack after his victory, which he won in the first round. She wasn't interested in what he was saying there, so she just decided to go on the attack and, having already seen how angry she was, asked to listen to him because she completely misunderstood everything. Panicking, he looked at the girl. The next moment, when the icicles were already flying in his direction, our hero decided to use his strength and dodge them, but the girl used a new ice skill, namely, freezing, because the young man had already tired of her and began to annoy her. They had been fighting for a very long time, and she wanted to deal with him faster. Feeling how cold it was, the hero stood in his place and held his heart, because his body was weak after such an attack. But he did not give up, continuing to hold his mop in his hands. To himself, the young man thought that the girl's magic was very fast if he hadn't improved his form. He would have already been lying on the ground struck by her attack. 
Then the icicles began to approach the young man and surround him from all sides, which surprised him very much, because he did not expect such a situation and at some point they already flew towards him, attacking directly from above. Our hero prepared to defend himself from this attack. Chinseng, standing aside, simply attacked him with her ice, thinking that she had defeated the young man, because a powerful ice explosion formed in the place where he was standing. At that moment, seeing the explosion, she thought that she had won and asked the presenter to call an ambulance and announce the results, explaining this with a calm face, despite the presenter was asked by Zhen Zhen. The presenter, looking at all this, decided to announce that someone was becoming the winner, and before he could, he saw the silhouette of a young man who was coming out of the smoke screen that remained after the battle. With an angry face, coming out of this veil, the young man said that he had left the girl alone for just a minute, so she had to relax, because this was not her final victory yet. The young man had rabbit ears on his head, and he was ready to attack the girl with all his strength, holding a mop barrel in his hand, saying that her brother rabbit was already here and seeing his speed. The girl began to repel the attack with her ice shield, which was on her arm. She carefully watched what speed the rabbit was developing and exactly how it would attack her. The young man took a mop and ran towards her, and Zhen Zhen noticed that Lin Qiu's strength was so great that it was able to break through her ice armor, but nevertheless she defended herself with them while the young man tried to attack her. At some point, the girl realized that her arm was almost numb and she could no longer withstand the attack. Tears began to appear from her eyes and the tension was very strong. At some point, she thought did the young man really want to shift her to second place and thought that he would succeed. But she just couldn't accept it, so she thought about how she would further evade his attack. The girl decided that she could not accept losing to the hero and used all her energy, namely the breakthrough of silver of the second rank. Everything around her was in fragments of ice flows. The young man saw that this was a breakthrough. If he retreated somewhere, he was afraid that everything would go to hell. Then he called the judge and said that a timeout was needed, because they had a foul game here. The girl was at the peak of her strength, and the young man decided that he should ask the host if the breakthrough during the fight was cheating. Then the presenter, getting angry, thought that again the young man did not act according to plan. Arranging a pause, he said that it was unfair, and the breakthrough was calling the hero an idiot, and that there was dishonesty, in his opinion, so the presenter asked the young man to stop talking and go on fighting. The girl understood that the young man did not attack her. Because of her breakthrough, she did not expect that he would turn out to be so cute. After that, she asked the young man to stop with his tricks and go to her and fight. Inspired with full strength, she waited for the young man, who stood not far from the presenter and the hero, again stood in a pose, decided that he agreed to her proposal and offered to fight. Then the girl, looking at the young man, told him that now he had to be more careful because now she was much stronger than him. But the young man decided that this was not a hindrance and leaning on the cane from the mop, he jumped towards the girl and decided to attack her. But the attempt was unsuccessful. Did he really decide that it was all because of the girl's breakthrough or the speed of her attack power greatly increased? The failed attempt cost the young man the fact that he fell to the ground and was weakened by Zhen Zhen's attack. It was like this again. He was full of strength and determination to win. Then the hero realized that this was the end for him because the fragments were heading straight towards him so the young man had to defend himself. At the moment when the girl attacked him with her ice flows, the young man defended himself with his hands, but his hands became so cold that it felt like he was going to lose consciousness now. If this continued, he thought that he would definitely lose, so he had to fight and despite the cold that enveloped him, the guy decided do not give up and decided to attack Zhen Zhen head on. The girl did not expect him to do this, she underestimated him, thinking about what kind of surge of energy she had just seen. The hero again used a trick saying that it was impossible to let her attack him again and made a grab for the girl, grabbing her with his hands. Then she did not understand what he was doing and asked him to remove his hand. But the young man replied that he would not do it for anything and used his dirty tricks, which is clearly not expected from Jinseng from a guy. But the girl tried to break free, asking the guy to let her go, and the young man understood that her strength was too great. If they did not continue in the same spirit, the young man would lose. Then suddenly the boys and the girl fell into the arena and she did not understand what was happening. Then the hero tried to support her so that the girl would not hurt herself, but she saw that the guy was bleeding and therefore asked to immediately remove his hands looking at his cut on his shoulder. The young man believed that she was very nice, that she tried to protect him further, but made a reservation that she would not let her go until she admitted defeat. The girl told him in response not to force her because she would let go, unless he admits defeat. Suddenly, the young man warned her, asking her not to force him because he has an ace up his sleeve, and this is a rabbit bite. If she does not admit defeat, then he will really bite her then, horrified. The girl thought about a rabbit bite, because they were on the exam, and the young man still decided to bite. Then the guy said that it didn't matter if he passed the exam or not. 
He just wanted to beat her and this excited the girl and surprised her at the same time. She didn't think that the young man just wanted to win and at that moment, embarrassed, she exhaled and told the presenter that she was giving up, raising her hand. The presenter, looking at this whole situation, was amazed, and the young man relaxed and immediately lost consciousness, which surprised Jen Jen very much in looking at Lin Kia. She began to call the young man because he just fell to the ground. She could not understand what was wrong with him. She was not very excited and upset, continuing to call her a hero. Opening his eyes, the young man felt that someone was calling him. Then he saw Zhen Zhen, who said that she had overdone it, because really it was necessary to treat herself like that. The girl was worried about the guy. Then he saw his hands and began to worry what was happening to him. Zhen Zhen screamed at the rabbit not to come. She screamed it with tears in her eyes. Then the hero realized that something had happened to him. He was a giant rabbit. It was rabbits, not a man, and wondered what had happened to him, after which he jumped out of bed, started screaming and woke up. Looking at his hands, the young man saw that he was an ordinary man. The guy's head was rewound. He was lying on a hospital bed. At that moment, the system appeared in front of him asking if the host had woken up. Then the young man realized that it was just a dream and began to watch the computer. The system congratulated the host on getting an SSS rank skill upgrade. The optimal skill was chosen to improve the ferment. The white rabbit was successfully transformed into a tramp rabbit. The tramp rabbit activated skill does not mess with rabbits, especially with tramps. After seeing this, the young man thought that all this was some kind of terrible mistake and was madly angry at the system for what it came up with, because he had just seen a terrible dream that still haunted him. The system also reported that just yesterday the young man was in a coma and could not choose a skill on his own, so the system chose for him. After cooling down, the young man thought that maybe everything wasn't so bad, because all the garbage of the rank had been falling out lately anyway and so he pressed the accept skill button. Think about the fact that since he woke up, he decided to spin it again so that he didn't have to get something bad. The system congratulated the host on obtaining the C-rank skill of awakening the space system. Then seeing the SSS rank skill again, the young man thought that he was really lucky today. Then the system discovered that the host already has some skills and the process of merging the skills of drilling plus space begin. When the young man saw how the system was doing the merging of skills, he did not understand what kind of merger it was and began to stretch out his hands to her, plaintively asking and asking what she was doing and asked her to explain what it all meant and what it was. What was the merger and what the system was trying to do with this merger? He was extremely upset because it could mean something bad. The young man was afraid that something would not be good with his skills. Here the system said that the merger was successful and congratulated the host on the successful evolution and transformation into a B-level beast. At this moment, she transferred skills to him and the beam was directed directly at the guy in his stomach. The hero looked at what was happening in surprise. Beasts of Level B Skill Introduction The space-based rogue rabbit synthesis system has endowed the host with a number of advantages of cosmic power that will help the host make dreams come true. Looking at his computer, the young man turning to 9527 thought that what was the use of this thing? The computer reported that it was just a storage space, a special place in the space system. Now it was empty, but you can put anything there. A pocket appeared on the young man's body, into which the young man could put everything anything. Touching himself, the young man realized that it was something like a storage room and showed the system a thumbs up sign, which meant that he liked it. The system also explained that in addition to space, the host had a new skill any door. Any door was a skill where the host opens a door that allows the host to teleport to any point within 5 meters. The system reported and showed exactly how it works. Getting out of bed, the young man realized that he could teleport to any point within a radius of 5 meters and decided to try. A door was open in front of him, which the young man decided to enter. Here the system asked the host to open the doors, imagine the destinations at a distance of 5 meters, which he could reach, and then thinking about where the young man wanted to go, he decided that he wanted to try to recover to the floor below, just to try this skill. Then the hero entered the door that was in front of him and disappeared, after which he appeared in a completely new place, falling to the floor, scratching his head from how he hurt himself, already sick, with his head that was rewound. The young man found himself in another room, and behind him sat a girl who was hiding under her blanket and was incredibly surprised that the young man was in her room, taking a knife. She asked Lin Kyu how the young man was here it turned out to be Lai Zhu, 20 years old, the daughter of the landlord. The young man was surprised that the landlord's family lived there from below. And when he saw Sister Zhu, he asked her to calm down and let him explain everything, showing with her hands that everything was not at all as she thought. But the girl was adamant, asking the young man what was there to explain, deciding that she would kill him for what he had got into her room. The young man said that it was just a misunderstanding and asked him not to beat him, because he was a sick man, crying explained to the young man to the girl. Day 2, Cafe 
Rubbing his cheeks, the young man thought that it hurt, but it was lucky that the girl let him out alive at all, otherwise he would not have been able to go on a date with his goddess, because today she suddenly sent him a message. Upon entering the door of the coffee shop where they were supposed to be, the young man saw that Zhen Zhen was calling him, waving at him to come here. There were several other people sitting next to her, and when he saw that there would be other people here, the young man was very saddened by this. The girl noticed that he felt even worse after the rest, because he looked very upset and told Lin Qiu about it. The guy, rubbing the back of his head, said that something had happened. That's why he was so unhappy, trying not to look into the girl's eyes, because he didn't want her to know what had happened to him earlier. After all, he looked very upset and depressed. Zhen Zhen wondered if everything was okay, because they were leaving soon, and the young man had to take good care of himself. The girl said that she invited everyone here so that the researchers could get to know each other, pointing in advance at the guys sitting to her right, asking if the guys were already familiar or not. Looking at the guys, the young man thought that he was already overjoyed and tears were flowing down his cheeks by themselves. An 8-star conqueror of sound and a 9-star healer looked at him, asking if his brother was okay and if he needed something to treat him. The girl said that the little rabbit looked very pathetic. Zhen Zhen reported that Zhang Cheng was the real storm of their team and pointed at the young man sitting right in front of her. After greeting his brother laziness, the young man says that he saw his fights and he was very cool. Zhang Cheng was a bronze nine-star fire lord and looked very courageous and intimidating. The girl said that there were two more, but now they are busy with admission, so they could not attend today's gathering. Sitting next to Link, she asked, the hero must have also received a bunch of offers from university. And the guy said that they sent him a couple this morning. Looking at Zhen Zhen, the young man recalled this morning how the courier gave him the letters. The famous university, which he had never dared to dream of before, is now fighting for it with other universities. This made the young man very happy, because before he really could not imagine such a thing. Zhen Zhen reported that in this case, Lin Qiu, our hero, which university he was going to choose, and looking at him with a shy look, she waited for an answer from our hero. The young man did not understand why she suddenly asked if she really wanted to go to the same university with him and seeing her reaction, the young man was embarrassed, looking directly at the girl, not knowing what she needed to answer. The young man, sitting next to Zhen Zhen and answering her question, said that he was leaning towards the University of Martial Arts and asked her why she was interested. Then the thought occurred to him, maybe the girl was going to go where he was going. The girl replied with embarrassment that the young man was right and she wanted to go to the same university with him. Speaking of which, she was losing to him all the time and wasn't ready to put up with it, so she would try to beat him there. The young man, full of happiness, agreed with any word he said and they say that everything will be as she says. He was ready to fight at the first order of his goddess. Getting up from her seat, Zhen Zhen said that it was necessary to stop fooling around and get down to business, because they had gathered here for a reason. All the guys around were watching them. Looking at the book that Zhen Zhen showed to all the guys, she asked them to pay attention to the animals, showing pictures and saying that they were not interested in the location, but what they needed was a spiritual beast that was hiding there, namely the ice fox. It was necessary to find the spiritual realm, explaining that foxes usually live in groups so one girl could not cope with all of them and therefore she needed the help of the team that she gathered here. Zhen Zhen knew that everyone had done well in the exams and therefore she was doubly grateful to the guys for joining the team to help. Then Min Min supported her friend so that the girl would not worry. Min Min said that it wasn't easy for them either, and it was an experience. Zhang Cheng also supported the guys who tried to calm Zhen Zhen down, saying that it was important for him too. The young man sitting next to him said that everything was right, except that they were lucky to have Lin Qiu's brother on their team. And our hero was thinking about how lucky he was that the goddess invited him to join too. It was a great honor for the young man to be on the same team with them, brother Lin said. The girl looked at the young man, and he thought to himself that how the guys of 8 minus 9 stars managed to learn something from him. Then Zhen Zhen realized that everyone still called her goddess and coughed and asked her not to call her that anymore, but it was better to call her by her first name. They all nodded at her and were pleased that they could move out in three days. The gathering was at Lin Qiu's house at 10 in the morning. Zhen announced and everyone agreed. The day of departure, 9.30 in the morning. Our hero was going and trying to fit everything into his bag. After that, I turned to 9527. He asked him to get out and the computer congratulated the host on obtaining the E-Rank Skill Culinary Skills. Language Proficiency E-Rank. The host instantly masters all languages in the world. The following was the knowledge of medicine. The hosts are perfectly versed in all medicines that have ever existed on earth, both Western and Chinese folk medicine. The young man was not at all happy that he had an E-Rank again and why his skills had been so weak lately. The hero did not understand. Then language skills. Then knowledge of medicine. Did the system really want to make him a director of some company? The system replied that the young man was already very lucky because he got the space system. 
By the way, about space, the young man asked what was there with space and the system asked if he wanted to try it. Space is what the hero received earlier, exactly the same pocket in which you could fit anything and at the same time not feel the weight of the whole world. Then the young man decided that he wanted to try out this pocket, which contained everything insane, and tried to stuff his backpack there, which was stuffed to the top and then the backpack fit into this pocket. The young man was extremely happy with such a skill. The space was really huge, he put the bag in there, and he did not feel its weight at all. Then the computer reported that there was still plenty of space inside, so you could at least take the whole room with you. And the hero did not believe that the computer was serious and was incredibly surprised. Then he was distracted by the guys who shouted to him from below from the car that they were already in place. The young man realized that he had already packed up and had to run out. The guys were waiting for him, thinking about what a useful skill he had received. In the car, Ming Ming looked at him when she saw his pocket and asked if it was really a skill of the space system. Then the young man asked not to look at him like that. Because he was embarrassed all the guys were watching him, and he defended himself with a stick that was on the battlefield, which he took away while fighting Zhen Zhen. And the young man put this stick in his pocket. All of them surrounded our hero and looked at him carefully, which made the young man very uncomfortable. Jen asked about the space system, saying that it was a rather rare phenomenon, and how the young man managed to do it. Then the guy next to him asked how the young man was able to take her with him by sticking a stick into the system, but, as expected from the hero, he was irresistible. Min Min, sitting next to the hero, wanted the young man to let her touch this pocket that was on his stomach and was already pulling his hands towards him. 